Want to learn more about air quality sensors? In this episode of Tech Ventures with Lazina, I will walk you through two different ways to read the Sensorion CO2 sensor values on the Companion board to determine indoor air quality. Hi, welcome back to Tech Ventures. My name is Lazina, and I'm the technical marketing engineer at Future Electronics. In our last episode, we covered the Companion board. If you're interested in checking out that video, then click on the link on the screen or check out the description box below. Today we are going to look at one specific sensor on the Companio board that focuses on air quality, Sensirion CO2 sensor. Since the start of 2020, there's been an increased focus on indoor air quality and carbon dioxide is a key indicator for that. And even though we have better insulation and new energy standards, air quality can deteriorate rapidly. Active ventilation is needed to maintain a comfortable and healthy indoor environment. This will improve the overall well-being and productivity for those in that space. Sensirion CO2 sensor offers accurate and stable CO2 temperature and humidity monitoring. There are two ways to read the sensor values and I'm going to walk you through it today. This is what the CO2 sensor looks like and we're going to communicate to the Companio board by connecting the jumper wires like so. The connection is pin to pin and only five of the connectors are required. This means the last two pins will remain unconnected on the sensor. And now we're ready to connect our board to our laptop. Please make sure you have the correct bin file loaded and open TerraTerm and configure it with 115200 for the baud rate, 8 bits for the data, and none for parity. Hit reset on the board and you'll see a sign of life in the terminal. And when prompted, enter CO2-read. And this command will read CO2 concentration, temperature, and humidity levels. And if you want to view your CO2 sensor information on a dashboard and access it anytime from anywhere, then I recommend using Scripter. In order to enable the Companio board to talk to the Scripter dashboard, we must send a few commands to open the bridge of communication. The Wi-Fi module or cellular modem on board will relay the information to the dashboard. For the purposes of today's demonstration, I am using the Wi-Fi module to communicate to the dashboard so that in real time, I can monitor CO2 concentration levels from anywhere, and so can you. On my screen over here, I can see the different sensor values, and if I check back with TerraTerm, I'll see that the values are accurate. On the dashboard, I have access to the live information as well as the historical information should I need it. An additional functionality that Scripter provides is the ability to set conditions and rules. If the thresholds are exceeded, I'm notified so that I can action them appropriately. If you want to learn more about the Companio board or Sincerion CO2 sensor, then leave us a comment below or contact your local Future Electronics representative or visit us at futureelectronics.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next episode of Tech Ventures with Lazina.